The kitchens are busy again as the Chancellor's one-month scheme delivers its $700 million handout to Britain's diners. But alongside the promise of bargain meals, people have welcomed the chance to see friends, take a break and socialise again. We're both key workers, so we've been sort of working quite hard over the last six months. So uh, it's nice to have a bit more free time and go uh, out and eat as a family as well. It's um, pushed me more to get out and about and to also um, to help and support sort of smaller local businesses like, like we are here. I think it's, it's really been a push for the community. I have been to places I never would normally have been to, like just because, just take advantage of it, you know, because lots of places are doing it. And um, yeah, it's been really fab. About 80% of hospitality firms shut down in April, with 1.4 million workers furloughed, hardest hit of any sector. By and large, much of the evidence points to a success story behind the Eat Out scheme. 64 million meals claimed and counting, with restaurants describing themselves as inundated on the three days the discount applies. But the government's political nudge behind this may have worked as well, taking the nation from stay indoors and save lives to get out and help out. In other words, engage with real life again. Any extension of the scheme will be welcomed, but some restaurants are already considering their own discount schemes for September. Flexibility is the new key to survival. If we get into September and it's quiet, in order to bring those people back again, I would definitely um, introduce something like that. Whereas if we go back to the same numbers that we were having in July, that's, that's fine for us as a business. So I think maybe we would then do one day a week or something like that. But I think it's also great for us as businesses to be able to give back to our local community. A lot of people have lost their jobs. On Monday, the government deal will probably end, and when the dust settles, it'll be clearer whether Eat Out, Help Out was a real lifesaver or just a moment of light in an otherwise bleak 2020.